Hey everybody, Derek here, here to bring you another video for Z Nation Season 3. And what I want to do in this video is discuss an important plot line from last week's episode of Scorpion and the Red Hand and try to find out who I think the imposter of Scorpion is and if we have seen this person before on the show. If you are not caught up with Z Nation and you do not want to be spoiled in any way, then I would exit the video now and come back later, because otherwise you will be spoiled. Okay, so I've heard a couple of other people may have been suggesting this, and this was my first thought immediately when I was watching the episode, that the imposter is Scorpion is Vasquez, that perhaps this is the way that they are going to reintroduce Vasquez into the show. I think that obviously we heard at the end of the last episode, uh, Warren said, I don't think we're done with the Red Hand Gang, and I think that's very true. I think they will reappear. I think at some point Warren and the group will run into them again, and it's very possible that they might be captured brought before this new scorpion and we may find out that it is indeed vasquez and obviously one may wonder well if it is vasquez why why would vasquez want to become the person that he hates the most why would he do that well i was thinking about a couple of things trying to find a theory as to why and i have one and it might be right it might be wrong but i'm going to share it and see um you know maybe see if it is the the in fact the real theory as to why he did because obviously we know that vasquez and the real scorpion have a very bad history um we know that a scorpion killed vasquez's wife and daughter when vasquez would not become a dirty dea agent he was loyal to his cause and of course that was day one of the apocalypse and ever since vasquez had been looking for a scorpion he eventually does find him uh he battles him to the death he thinks that he killed him by pushing him down into a pit of zombies he's avenged his wife and daughter he in a sense starts to move on and surprise season two finale comes and we find out no the scorpion's not dead the scorpion fought his way through and survived and he comes in and he kills Lorena and he presents himself as a changed man. And he tells Vasquez, look, I know that a scorpion was a bad man. That man deserves to die. So if you feel like you need to kill me because of who I was and avenge your wife and daughter, then you can do so. And Vasquez wants to. I could see in his eyes, you know, the actor did a very good job of portraying this. I think there was a big part of Vasquez that wanted to do this, but he couldn't bring himself to do it. And after that happened, um, Vasquez stayed in the bar. He said his, you know, obviously the mission to deliver Murphy was done, and he said his mission was over. Um, and at that point, the group parted ways, and his scorpion ended up joining the rest of the group. And Vasquez, the last we saw of him, he took a bandana. He tied it around his head with his wife and daughter, uh, their picture inside of it. He came out of the bar, shot a zombie, ran off into the woods, and ever since then, we don't know what's going on. Well, obviously, I think that there's obviously a big way that they're going to reintroduce him. I don't think his character is over, <clears throat> but it does make you wonder... Why would he take on the identity of a scorpion? And how did it happen? Well, I think I have a, a, a prediction for how it may have happened. I think that personally, when Vasquez ran off into the woods, I think that he intended on dying. I think his intention was, I'm going to fight off as many of these individual you know, zombies as I can. And when I finally get bit and die, that's it. That's fine. And I think that that's what he intended on doing. Um, and I think that in a sense, the reason why he tied the picture around his head with the bandana was to keep them close, to keep those two on his mind, to realize that this is what he's going to be fighting for. Eventually, he's going to be hopefully reunited with them in the afterlife if he believes in that. And I get the feeling that what ended up happening was while he was fighting, 
I think somehow the picture either gets lost or destroyed. I could see it falling off a cliff in the wind because obviously, as you saw, they were right next to cliffs. It may happen almost immediately. It's very possible that a zombie rips it up. You just never know. But I think something happens to the picture. And then I think that, you know, the fact with Z Nation being the way it is, I could see one of two things happening. I could either see he comes across this person who knows how to do tattoos and gets his daughter tattooed on his arm to remember him, remember her. Or I could see him tattooing or carving the image of his daughter into his arm. You know, maybe he's got artistic abilities. Maybe it's very possible that, you know, again, he knows how to do that. Um, you just never know. But I think that that's why he put his daughter on his arm to keep her close and to remember her because I think he's going to lose the picture. Then I think what's going to happen is, is that at some point, I think Vasquez came across the red hand and maybe he tried to steal from them too. And as a result of doing that, he may not have known who they were or he didn't care, whatever. Perhaps then he starts to battle them, that they come after him and he's able to battle with them, and he defeats a bunch of them. And then maybe they, the Red Hand sees the tattoo and goes, Whoa! This guy, this guy's a scorpion, you know? And maybe the members start to realize that they think that this is the real scorpion. And then, maybe in a sense to protect himself, to not get killed, Vasquez said, Yeah, it's me. I, I'm the real guy. I'm a scorpion. The Zeros are dead, and I'm all that's left. And then eventually, I think that maybe they'll become a group. Um, you know, I don't know if they're going to do a flashback episode or not. Obviously, we've already done a flashback. So maybe they might do a quick little intro to explain this. Or maybe we might just hear about it. But I think that, in a sense, he became a Scorpion after he ran into the Red Hand Gang. And then I think from there, obviously, he has had to keep the identity because otherwise... You know, they might kill him. They might not take him seriously. And part of me wonders if maybe by doing this, if he's become so engrossed in the role of a scorpion that maybe he's lost himself. That's very possible um, that maybe Vasquez has lost who he was. The other thing I was thinking about was that maybe... With him becoming a scorpion and with his role in the Red Hand Gang, it may be possible that he is trying to change himself and work up the courage to go after a scorpion and maybe even to lure him out, to lure Hector out so that he can battle him again. Because like I said, as you saw in the season two finale, it is very clear that there's still a part of Vasquez that wants to kill a scorpion. You saw it in his eyes. And in that moment, he couldn't do it. Um, because I think it's very different, you know, for people in general. Um, you know, I think that you see that a lot in action movies too. It's a lot harder to kill the bad guy when he's defenseless and doesn't have the ability to defend himself or herself, depending on the movie. And I've seen that, you know, sometimes in the movies, where the good guy won't kill the bad guy if the bad guy is defeated. You know, if they've been beaten up within an inch of their life and they don't have a weapon, they're not going to murder them in cold blood. They'll either put them in prison or do whatever they do with them. But it becomes a lot harder for the good guy to do that, because in a sense it betrays the idea of what being a good guy is in that kind of world. You know, obviously, good guy, bad guy, very uh, different terms, ones that can be applied in different ways, but you get what I'm saying. It's a lot harder for the good guy to kill the bad guy when they're not a danger anymore. And I think that's really kind of what happened with a scorpion. You saw that, you know, well, with Vasquez, he couldn't kill a scorpion whenever a scorpion was just, you know, defenseless. But maybe... He's trying to train himself or make himself into a person who could do it regardless. You know, that maybe he's just so uh, caught up in the idea of revenge that in order to make himself brave enough to be able to kill his enemy, he has become his enemy. So that way he can think like him, work like him, work himself up to be that kind of person who can be so merciless that he would kill his enemy no matter what the circumstances. And maybe he's done this to people like 
uh, the thieves that attacked, um, you know, the Red Hand, that maybe by doing these terrible things, by becoming a scorpion, by, you I mean, you know, you saw what they did with those people. They hung them, uh, ripped out their insides. I mean, it was pretty gross. You know, the, the things that they were doing to these people were pretty bad. The techniques that they used to fight are pretty insane, are pretty terrible. Fire, you know, throwing the bricks. I mean, that's some pretty crazy stuff. And I do have to wonder if maybe it is Vasquez doing these things and maybe he's, you know, participating with the Red Hand Gang and maybe in a sense trying to become so much like a scorpion that by using his name, by throwing that out there, he's hoping that Hector, the real scorpion, will reveal himself or that he will come across him. And I think at that point, he will then have the courage or try to do what he did, you know, to his wife and daughter. And we may see a reverse of what happened in season two, episode 12 and 13. Remember the two part episode with the zeros where the scorpion had Vasquez tied up. You know, he was torturing him, things like that. I have to wonder if Vasquez is maybe working himself up to do the same thing. That maybe we might see a reverse, that we would see a scorpion himself tied up. And Vasquez, you know, doing terrible things to him and maybe the group trying to stop him. That I could see. I could definitely see that kind of a reversal going on. I could see that as the motivation for why Vasquez would become a Scorpion. And I have no doubt in my mind they are going to run into the Red Hand Gang again. Whether Vasquez is the real Scorpion or not, I think we will find out. And I think they will expand on that story. I don't think that was a one-shot story. There's a lot to it. I think that's what's going to happen, and I think we're going to see some pretty insane stuff coming up with C Nation. I'm really looking forward to it. I think they're doing an incredible job with this season, and I can't wait to see. So let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Vasquez is the imposter of Scorpion? Do you think that my theory is correct? Do you have another theory for why he might be doing this? Don't be afraid to share. Feel free to subscribe. I do have more videos coming, and if you have any suggestions for future videos that you would like to see, don't be afraid to suggest them. Have a very wonderful evening, and thank you all very much for watching.